Yeah, you know, Buddha talked about empty your mind and people, and sometimes empty has a bad connotation, you know, like, oh, empty. How are you feeling? Empty. <laughs> and, you know, but then when you hear Armel said, oh, I'm empty? I'm empty? I'm empty. She's just like thrilled, like she's just in the most glorious state of mind. I'm so empty right now. Darling. And and it's it's a compliment, actually. She means it, you know, as a, like a capital self compliment. So you can't imagine how emptiness would be because that's the thing, you know, they, just my imagination running away with me. It's the imagination is the realm of the ego where it just it just takes the mind off on fantasies. And um, there's an interesting definition from Jesus in the Course on fantasy, because you know Freud talked about fantasies and psychologists do. Jesus says, fantasy is the attempt to make false associations and obtain pleasure from them. Interesting definition from Jesus Christ on fantasy. And then you can start to say, hmm, okay, I want to be real. I want to know reality. I want to be authentic. I don't want to be chasing fantasies, pipe dreams, trying to make things up and, and following this, all the circuitous routes of, of the ego. So, you know, I think the way that the spirit works is the spirit's like, okay, the ego made up the imagination. The spirit created eternity, the spirit is eternity, it's reality, and imagination's perception is egoic. In the Course it even says consciousness um, is the domain of the ego. A lot of times spiritual teachers will talk about consciousness or Christ consciousness. Jesus says, no, consciousness is the domain of the ego. Whoa! Thank you very much here. Uh, that's fantasy as well. I didn't know consciousness was fantasy. But he's saying, you know, it needs to be trained and purified and then you become fully conscious and then you become aware of reality. You know, it makes sense if you follow it along. So, for us, you know, we, I would say the more you get into your purpose, the more you get into forgiveness or atonement or call it what you will, salvation, resurrection, peace of mind, then that leads you inward to the kingdom of heaven within. It takes you beyond the fantasies, but the Holy Spirit will use the imagination. The Holy Spirit will use the imagination. It's not like, just because the ego made it up doesn't mean the Holy Spirit can't use it. Mm. And that's what makes this journey so practical. That's what I love about the Course, you know, the workbook's designed to use what the ego made, words, symbols of symbols, twice removed from reality, and all of the things that, that is believed to be real in this world can be completely used. And in fact, we just did a talk, um, I think our last couple talks were use of symbols on, on Spreaker. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring my, my cards. I, right. <laughs> I, I have business cards that are this big, but uh, um, with Armel and I sitting there and a little uh, ocean and a little eye, the mini eye coming out, a mini me eye, you know, when you drop a pebble in and it just comes a little eye trying to arise oh, out of the ocean. Oh, there they are, show them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Craig is filming, this is it, my, my little miniature business cards. Yeah, very miniature. <laughs> oh, there you are. There it is. <laughs> That's great. But I was going to hand write on the back, because we record all of these, and you can listen to them from around the world, acim.me. It's not kind of a just, you know, close your eyes and, and think of oneness. It's, it's like, let the spirit use what the ego made to undo what the ego made. That, to me, that's just such a practical path. So you can be inspired, and, and that can be a form of fantasy also. Yes. That but being used by spirit. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's what I feel like my whole life has been dedicated to the inspirational use of symbols uh, for the past 25 years with the Course. Because once I was really got a good discernment there of feeling my heart opening, feeling that joy pouring through, that love, then 
uh, it was like, wow, this is fantastic. How can I serve the whole? And music has poured through poetry. books, poetry, movie watchers, Sky to Enlightenment. I love movies. Holy Spirit said, great, let's make a book of self-realization, enlightenment, using Hollywood, using the movies. Or, I like golf. Uh, okay, my meditation became a golf meditation when I was out on the golf course. I was really getting into the zone, or tennis, basketball, baseball, all of those things. Use it, use it, use it. Um, relationships, as I've said, instead of trying to go egoically, trying to go on a hunt to find the one, in form, it was more, okay, we got a lot of playmates here on planet Earth and it's going to be playful and joyful if I don't hold them to expectations, if we can collaborate. So I love collaboration. I even use um, a lot of movies, I do a lot of movie gatherings where I'll, I'll use, uh, there was a documentary on George Harrison from the Beatles on wow. HBO. And I just adored his collaboration. Um, he, was, he lived such a collaborative life, not only with the Fab Four, with the Beatles, but all his whole life. He was collaborating with rock stars, he had all kinds of friends in all walks of life. He traveled to India, Ravi Shankar, opened up to new cultures, um, sitar, playing the sitar, playing new instruments. Um, was good friends with a Formula One race car driver, Jackie Stewart, Monty Python, you know, Monty Python's filming uh, Life of Brian, I think it was, uh, down in Africa, Tunisia or something, and they ran out of money. And the, or actually, um, the, the one who was sponsoring their movie found out that they, of some of their scenes, that they felt they were poking fun at Jesus. Uh, with Life of Brian, and so the sponsor pulled the plug on the whole movie. And George Harrison mortgaged his house in England, so Life of Brian could be completed. Such a big heart! So I gathered a group of people together and I got the movie uh, on George Harrison and I said, let's get some Holy Spirit commentary going on this great life of collaboration. And we streamed it. We actually did a live streaming program, kind of me speaking on different aspects of, of that. Because we're really big on collaboration, but that again is inspiration. We're, we're really big on inspiration.